All right, we're back. I cleaned off my um, linoleum piece. I cleaned off my tray. I cleaned off my brayer. And now I'm going to take that same black printing ink with color. And I'm going to take a little bit of this red. And I want you to have two colors. And remember, colors that um, make secondary colors work really out well. So like right now, I'm using um, some red. And I'm going to go half of the tray with the red here. And then I'm going to use the yellow, and I have a different popsicle stick, so I'm not cross-contaminating or mixing um, the inks. So I'm going to take this yellow, put some yellow over on this side. Kind of in a line. Like I said, um, colors that, like, for example, when you mix red and yellow here, you get orange. You wouldn't want to take, you know, this yellow and um, do purple, for example, because when they mix in the middle, you're going to get a brown color. So now with my brayer, I'm going to, just like I did before with the black, I'm going to tap it up here and then come down and roll. The only difference with this rainbow roll, it's called, is... I'm not going to go this way because otherwise my colors will get mixed up. So Okay, so then you can see all the way around I have that um, rainbow roll. Then I want to decide, you know, which which way I want to do this and try this. So maybe I'm going to go this way and I gotta re-ink and I want to get to like the halfway point with that and I'm noticing right up here that it's not getting enough yellow so I'm just gonna Bring that in, okay, and then um, I'm going to just flip this upside down because I want that red part to still line up here, and I'm going to do that same thing along the bottom half. And I'm curious to see how this is going to look because it might give it look like sky a little bit up here. So I think this will look kind of neat. And I'm going to do it one more time up here. It looks like I missed a little spot here in the corner. Okay, so now, just like before, I'm going to have my paper here, and I'm going to set it down, and I can lift it up and flip it, and then I'll use my Baron to burnish it. I can peel it back, kind of check how it looks. Okay, if it needs more ink, you know, press a little bit harder with that baron to burnish that ink onto the paper. And you're going to do a series of eight prints. Make sure they're quality prints. Not, I just did it to get it done. All right. Oh, I like this. So you can see um, kind of the look there of that rainbow roll. So I want you to experiment with that rainbow roll. And you're gonna do eight prints, make sure they're quality. Um, if they're not, it doesn't count. So make sure eight quality prints on white paper.